Cuba is a country filled with amazing history and culture, but to experience all of that, you're going to need money. And the money situation in Cuba, especially for Americans, can be extremely confusing. You'll find a lot of conflicting information online, and it's really hard to make heads or tails of what's going on. So we wanted to give you some insight into our experience and this is as of February 2023, and these things can change on a daily or weekly basis even, so keep that in mind when you're watching this, that we recorded this video in February of 2023. As of right now, the Cuban currency is the peso. You can see this here with a couple of American dollars, so this is 100, 200, and 500 pesos. The current official conversion rate at a bank, or the government conversion rate, is 120 pesos to one American dollar. Now I say official rate because most people get something better than that. In our case, we converted our money with our Airbnb host where we were staying and she got us 140 Cuban pesos to $1. We then converted some other money on the street where people will come up to you and just say, or do you want to convert money? Something like that. And we were able to get an even better rate. In one case, we got 150 pesos to a dollar. In another case, we got up to 160 pesos to a dollar. So my suggestion would be to actually just go out on the street it was very safe, there was no problem at all. They just uh, take you a block or two in the city to a house and ask you how much you want to convert and then they'll give you the equivalent in pesos. So I would say if it's at like a hotel or an Airbnb or something, they're probably not going to give you quite as good of a rate as if you just work with someone on the street who asks if you want to convert some money. So that's kind of the, the cash portion of it. The other kind of very confusing part, especially for Americans, is the credit card situation. So Cuba at the moment, uh, you cannot use a credit card if you're an American, at least in our experience. If you are an American and you've come to Cuba and been able to use your credit card, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. But we tried to use our MasterCard in several different hotels and it was declined and we could never do it. But that's tough because the uh, hotels require you to use credit card. And so if you, don't do that if you don't if you don't have a credit card that you can use then you can't you know eat at a uh, breakfast buffet at a hotel you can't go to any of the the bars at hotels anything like that so the the fancy hotels all require a credit card and won't take cash which is a bit of a strange situation it makes it difficult on americans so it's also weird because the u.s uh state department and mastercard themselves have said since cuba opened up in about 2015 that you should be able to use credit card and so we thought we'd be able to but we were not able to get it to work fortunately though we thought ahead and did bring plenty of cash with us i would suggest roughly plan on 75 to 100 us dollars a day that you'll need to uh, convert into pesos obviously part of that depends on how much you're spending and what rate you get the pesos at uh, and those types of factors but somewhere in that range i would say would be good to cover most of your meals and various expenses um, here in Cuba, if you can book things, like we did an Airbnb excursion uh, that was snorkeling, we booked that ahead of time through Airbnb so that you don't have to use cash when you get here for that, that helps as well. So it's a very confusing situation, especially for Americans. It might be different uh, for other countries. I know uh, Canadian tourism is a really big deal in Cuba as well, so it might be different if you're Canadian. Um, but that's kind of the situation as it stands uh, right now for Americans. Uh, you can get anywhere in our experience from about 120 to 160 pesos per dollar. And you can't use credit cards, unfortunately, right now. So you'll want to make sure you bring plenty of cash with you into Cuba so that you can convert it into pesos when you get here because uh, pesos are how pretty much you'll pay it at every restaurant unless it's in a really fancy hotel. You do tip with U.S. dollars a lot. So usually we would tip with a couple of U.S. dollars after we paid with our pesos uh, for the meal because they do like to get USD if possible because uh, just the inflation can be so crazy they prefer to have USD over the pesos. That's kind of the current situation. I would love to hear anyone else's experience. If you're watching this, feel free to comment down below on what your experience with the money was like in Cuba, especially if you've been able to use a credit card at all. I'd be interested to hear uh, what your experience was like with that. And I hope you have a great time here in Cuba. Thanks for watching.